How's it going, everybody? It's me. It's your friend. It's the Awkward Commentator. Welcome back to yet another episode of Splatoon. In the last episode, we finished up everything we could do in Area 4, got all the sunken scrolls, and we took on the boss, one of my favorite bosses, the Octomaw. This time, are you guys ready? This is it. This is the final area of Splatoon. Hero mode for Splatoon, and up there, that unidentified flying object right there just so happens to be our final boss. But in the meantime, we have six more levels to do, six more scrolls to find. I was about to say one more boss, but that technically is the last boss up there. So, since this area is rather, like, friggin' massive, it's gonna take me a little bit to find all the uh, kettles for each level. So give me a little bit here to find each kettle, you know, the usual spiel whenever we get to a new area, and I'll be right back once we find the next level, or the first level, I should say. I technically next level. Is there one up here? Is there a kettle up here? Sadness, there is not. Okay, I have found our first kettle. The first kettle is actually a little further away from the from the ink rail. It is right over here by this one uh, platform that you have to use the propeller to move. And there's a, two sponges right there. I'll give you guys, I'll uh, spin the camera, span the camera around. What? <laughs> spin the camera around so you guys have an idea where this area is. Sink the kettle right here. 24, Pinworld Power Plant. All right, well, first level down. Time to find the remaining five. Let's go. Here we go. We have yet another kettle. So you have to take an ink rail that leads right over there. As you guys can see underneath that floating platform right there. It's actually a little further away from the other one that we found. As you guys can see right here, I'll spin the camera around. That way you guys get an idea of where this area is. Go ahead and spray the kettle right here. 23, Spongy Observatory. All right, we'll get into that in just a little bit. In the meantime, got to find more kettles. All right, not too far away from the one kettle that we just found. There is a gusher right there at the bottom right there. And I'll spin the camera around once again so you guys have an idea of where I'm at. Spray the kettle. Ooh, the Octoling Onslaught. Ooh, I'm actually excited for that one. Alright, BRB once again. Now that was just a jerk move. I didn't even know that propeller was right there. I missed the ink rail. Oh, of course, I literally hit the propeller the moment I jumped up here and I sprayed it. Wow. Alright, the next kettle. It's actually really high up. Just to give you guys an idea of where it is. There's a uh, Octoling Onslaught right over there. And there is the entrance over there. And there's a really long ink rail right there. So what do you say we spray the heck out of this kettle here? Far Flung Flutters. All right. Well, I think we got two more to find. So I'll be right back once again, guys. All right, so have another kettle right here. I'll show you guys, spin the camera around. That way you guys have an idea of where I'm at. Show you guys the lower level light there. And we got ourselves level 22, Splat Switch Revolution. All right, time to find that last kettle. And I have no idea where it is, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Well, all right then. Man, I'd be lying if I said I knew where this level was, because I legit have no idea. I don't remember where this last stage is, and it's kind of annoying me, actually. It's kind of irritating me. It's been ten minutes already, Dage. What the heck? Find the level, gosh darn it. Oh, I promise I will. Just give me a bit, guys. Oh my freaking god. All I had to do was take that ink rail right there, and here it is. Here I am searching for the... The entire area. I can't see where it is, but nope, it's right there. Very obvious spot. Thank God that didn't take as long as I thought I would, but what do you say we dive on into level 22? Splat Switch Revolution, a change in scenery. This one's actually rather interesting and a little fun. So we got ourselves a brand new gimmick here, guys. We got ourselves some splat switches. Yeah, I haven't seen those in a while. I think it's the first time we've actually seen them throughout this entire, um, yeah, throughout the entire hero mode. Splat switches, basically, splat the switch, and they, well, change the scenery a little bit. Not the scenery, but uh, something happens whenever you splat them. Now then, without further ado, let's go. Let's get the finale episodes on the way. And by finale episodes, I mean this is not the finale episode, but what is this episode? I want to say this is episode nine. Yeah, okay, Inkzooka to the left, Bubbler to the right. I think 
Even though I've already taken the Ink Zuka, I'm actually gonna go for the Bubbler. Mainly because I took the Ink Zuka in my practice file a little bit ago. And I think it'd be fair to give the freaking Bubbler a chance to shine too. Got some Octo Balls right here. I'm gonna get rid of these guys rather quickly because these guys are actually not that difficult to deal with. Get oh. I was about to say, get off my plane, but you can't get off my plane because there's a platform. Not a platform. There's a railing right there that prevents you from falling, which sucks because I really want you to fall to your death, but I guess I can shoot you to your death because why the heck not? I am an Inkling. That's what Inklings do. I totally went into that thing like a freaking badass right there, and you know what? I That wasn't intended, but I'm going to say it was intended because I'm a badass. Okay, maybe not a badass, but I'm cool, guys. I try to be cool. I think I'm cool, at least. My mom thinks I'm cool, and that's all that matters to me. Hey, I believe the... Okay, so that crate up there, believe it or not, that's actually where the scroll is. However, what you want to do is you want to hit the switch first. Don't worry, the crate is not leaving you. What you have to do is splat these guys right here, get them out of your way. And what you want to do is do not go into the launch pad just yet. What you want to do is ink the walling right here. Make sure you're as far away from that launch pad as possible! Damn it. Alright, well, I guess that's the scroll that I'm coming back to. I guess I'll, once I beat the level, I'll just get the scroll. Man, make sure you're as far as away as the launch pad as possible. What am I? That's how you died. Get out of here, you stupid octotentacle. You and your ugly hairstyle. You and your ugly face. I hate everything about you. Just be gone. I'm gonna kill you too. You are. Ugh. Oh, octo snipers. Oh, crap. Whoa! Nah, I was not ready, game. I was not ready. How could you do this to me? How could this ha- Oh no! Can I throw a bomb over there? I can, I can! Oh no! That's what I get for trying to be a show-off. Man, why did I have to hit the checkpoint? I want to go back and get that scroll, please. Game. Scroll. I want it so bad. I'm gonna throw this bomb. I'm gonna kill you in the process. You know what? I'm gonna kill you in the process. <sighs> I'm angry. Okay, I'm not really angry, I'm just really salty right now. I'm more so mad at myself. I told- I said, make sure you, um, stay as far away as the ink from the- Wow. Woohoo! Yes, thank god. I even said to myself, make sure you're as far away from the launch pad as possible. What do I do? I tried so hard, and I got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Okay, it's I pro You know what? That was intentional, honestly. I knew where I was going with that, and I'm glad I went and I'm glad I went there with that. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Get out of here, stupid Octoballs. Now you can fall to your death. That's what I like to see. I like to see when stuff falls to their death. Uh, I sound like a freaking sadistic asshole when I say it like that. Ugh. Man, it is blazing hot in my apartment right now. It is currently 90 degrees outside. And the reason I keep complaining about the heat- Whoa! It's because, when recording, I can't have my AC on or my fan on. I mean, I could, but in the background, aside from my commentary, you guys are going to be hearing the fan or the AC, and I don't want that, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I want you guys to strictly hear the AC! <laughs> the AC, no, my commentary, not the AC. I don't want you guys to hear that, I want you guys to hear my voice. And I've only got to record for a little bit, okay? Once this is all said and done, I can go- I can turn my AC on, and it'll be happy fun times! I got some flutters! Oh no! Oh no! I don't even remember where the key is. Is there even a key right here? I can't- oh hi, how you doing? I think there's a key right there. No, you got the key, don't you? Got the key, got the key, got the key. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got these. Oh, I don't have any ink, apparently. Ha! Get- wait, what? What? Am I missing something? Yes, I am! The key is right there, you dingus! What is going on with you, Tage? What is going on? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know my own life anymore. I am questioning my entire existence right now because I'm a fool. I am a dingus. Give me my zap fish. Thank you. Man, that was crazy, but you really stepped it up, Agent 3. I was half expecting the scroll to pop up, because I'm already used to, you know, getting the scroll and the level ending, but I just realized that before I was about to take a swig of my water, I just realized that I gotta still get the scroll. BRB. 
here I am, once again, I'm torn into pieces, and that's all I remember of that song. Oh, thank god I didn't get the launch pad, I missed the launch pad, thank god, alright, well I got the scroll, I'll be right back when this level is finished, and then I will read the scroll to you guys. From the depths of the sea, we emerged long ago, seeking the light of the service in search of still greater lights. We now send this message into outer space, sealed in a disc. Perhaps one day we will encounter another. We will encounter other intelligent life. Oh man, that! Oh, I, can't, I still can't believe I missed the scroll that way. That was freaking hilarious. Just, you know, don't get too close to the launch pad. Gets really close to the launch pad. Spongy Observatory. More ink, less shrink. Let's go. Are you ready, kids? Ah, yeah, Captain Sponges! Watch out for shrinkage! Thank you, Agent One. I totally almost died right there in a freaking hilarious way. That would have been so freaking funny. So the scroll is actually... Oh, God, hi. Hello, Octo Stamps. Do not shrink my sponges, whatever you do. Get yo. Okay, no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say right there because I was going to be rather rude, but you know what? Our scroll is actually right down here. As you guys can see below this platform right here, jump... Make sure you got some momentum, jump right there, and grab the scroll. I actually got the scroll this time, and I didn't miss it like a freaking dingus that I am. I am such a dingus, you have no idea how much of a dingus I am. Okay, I'll stop saying that word. Focus on the game. Oh no! Oh no! Man, this episode's off to a rockin' star ain't it? Alright, well, let me get that. Easy does it now. Thank you, Agent 2. Thank you so freaking much for the words of encouragement. Oh god! Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Boink! Ha! Take that! Suck it! Why didn't I just do that the first time? Mainly because I forgot that enemy was right there. Man, I just did a practice run of Area 5, and I did a practice run of the final boss too. You think I should know this stuff by now, but I don't! I really don't! I just want to get this area recorded, or yeah, I just want to get this area over with, that way I can move along with my life. Actually, no, I'm really excited to be recording right now, because Hero Mode of Splatoon is actually a lot of fun. That's gonna hit me, ain't it? Like, I am having so much fun replaying through hero mode once again. It is... No! Oh, God. Ooh. Do not shrink my sponge! You know what? Oh, no! Take that. You take that. And then... You take that. Yes, I got them all. Okay, the... thank God I have my Inksuka right there. Ooh, give me the balloons. Give me all the balloons. I want them all. Okay, I guess I need to get a little closer if I want all the balloons. Pop the balloon, pop the balloon, I'll pop you, and you. Be gone, Satan! Okay, maybe not Satan, but... It's like a playing Astro Chain the other day when Lappy was giving out free balloons. I wanted a balloon. Lappy never gave me a balloon. And I did Lappy's quiz, and I got more than what I, you know, what Lappy asked you to get. And I still never got my goddamn balloon. Just give me a balloon, damn it! I want a balloon. You know what? I'm gonna go buy me a balloon. My birthday's coming up, so you know what? I'm gonna get me a balloon. I'm gonna walk into the dollar store. Oh no. Oh no! I almost fell off! Holy crap, that would've been hilarious, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the dollar store on my birthday, and I'm gonna specifically ask them for a balloon. Oh, whose birthday is it? It's mine! Give me a balloon, I don't care how weird... I don't care how many weird looks I'm gonna get. Get out of here, you stupid thing. Okay, he's running away. Like, a, a, what? No. That's what I thought. Nobody likes you. That's gonna be my catchphrase, isn't it? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes me. Okay, no, that's a lie. A ton of people like me, and I'm actually super happy about that. Okay. Hey, Octobomby. Octobomby. That's a weird name to give us, you know, one of these. I don't even like these guys. As much as I like my Octoling, I do not like the Octo Troopers. I do not like the Octo Bombers. I especially don't like the Octo Twinticles, because ugh, these things are annoying. Those things are literally the death of me during some of my playthroughs. Ooh, got ourselves an interesting little mechanic right here! I fell to my death. Man, I should have a death counter for this episode, because I have fallen off so many times. This is like the most I've fallen off in an episode yet. Stop spraying the sponge and spray the stupid wall. Down she goes! Into the launch pad we go! Into the unknown! Wow, I can't believe I actually hit a high note like that. Okay, maybe not a... There are holes in the ground? Yep, that is most definitely a hole in the ground. Hello, Octo... Um... Octoling, how you doing? Where the other one? I'm gonna splat the hell out of you. Come here. Yeah, come here. 
You will feel the wrath of my ink, Zuka, whether you like it or not. See, I told you. I knew I was going to get you one way or another. Oh, whether you liked it or not, my ink, Zuka, was going to splat you in the face. Take that as you may. I don't even care if that sounds out of context. Just give me my zapfish. Come here, buddy. The customary chorus of Calamari County. Nowadays, this song and dance may as well be carved into the very DNA of all Inklings. It began as a way to celebrate and show respect for the bounty of the sea. Okay, well, what do you say we do one more level and then move along with our lives? What are we at right now? I think we're at 24, right? Pinwheel power plant. Slip through defenses. I see what you did there. I kind of remember where the- okay, no, I, I remember where this- I remember where the Sunken Squirrel is in this one. This level is actually not as bad. It's not- it looks a little intimidating because of these platforms right here, but trust me, it's not as bad. All you really have to do is jump over them. Yeah, time it right, make sure you're in squid form when those gates come through, and it's actually rather easy. Despite how narrow it is right here, it's actually pretty easy to get past this. It's pretty easy to take those guys out, too. Okay, one thing I like to do is I'm gonna throw a bomb. Goodbye! Oh crap, whoa, hi! Stupid Octo Twinicle. That's why I hate you guys. I especially hate you guys when you have the stupid shield. Give me my Ink Zooka. Wait, because I'm gonna... I thought there were three over here. What happened to the third one? Did he fall off? No, shouldn't there be three? I swear, I thought there were three over here last time when I did my... <sighs> How many times am I going to fall? This freaking episode. Okay, I, there was three over there. What happened to the third one? Did he just fall off or something? Or did I... Did I get him? My bomb just went off the... Cool. Ha! It fell off! You see that stupid twinicle? Oh, I don't have a bomb power! I have armor, so I should be okay. Oh, anxiety right here. Man, I'm... Here I am saying you don't have to worry about it, despite how narrow it is, but I fell like a freaking idiot. Feel the wrath of my ink, Zuka, you stupid, ugly creatures. Oh, my Octoling in Splatoon 2 is a lot cuter than you are. Go up the thingy. I'm gonna go up this Wally Wall here. What the frick is a Wally Wall, Tage? I don't even know. Is it a weird version of Wally World? Or Walmart, I should say? Wait a second. Okay, it's right there. I was about to say, wait, did I miss a scroll? No, I did not miss a scroll. The scroll is in that crate over there, as you guys can see, right there. This wall and make sure I'm in squid form because that green is coming. You can't touch this. Hey, Octo Trooper, how you doing? You had a. Oh, wait a second. I need to be on one of those thingies so I can go over there. Why is there a launch pad right there? Where does that launch pad even take you again? I don't remember. Oh, I got worried right there. I thought I fell. Totally. Oh. I could have. Okay, unnecessary uh, launch pad is unnecessary, but I guess I'll take it because it put me over here. And we got ourselves another checkpoint. Give me some more armor and an Octo Bomber right. You throwing your bombs at me, you stupid, ugly little cr Oh, God. Oh, I almost fell once again. An Octo Snorkeler. Whoa! I want that Ink Zooka. Boink, boink, boink. Okay, they're all dead. I'm gonna go over here. Anybody else want to feel the wrath of my Ink Zooka? Do you want to feel the wrath of my Ink Zooka, whoever is over there? I gotta fall, right? Do I gotta fall? Okay, yes, I gotta fall. Down we go! Wait, what are you saying? I'm not even paying... I'm not a fan of heights or spinning or seafood. I mean, I can see why you're not a fan of seafood. Granted that you are technically seafood yourself. Why is there a gusher down there? Oh, okay. I think I see why that gusher's down there. Just in case you fall like a dingus, like me, I know I'm gonna fall. Oh, I fall apart. It's one of my favorite Post Malone songs. God, I love Post Malone so much. I was actually listening to a lot of Post Malone before I started this recording session. I was listening to a few songs off of Hollywood's Bleeding. I was listening to Circles a lot, because that is my number one favorite Post Malone song. I was listening to I Know, that's another one of my favorites. And A Thousand Bad Times, which... You know what, Post Malone has a lot of good songs in my personal opinion. He's just a good artist in general. Dude's got hella talent. And I can't wait to be famous like him one day. Okay, maybe not famous, but I can't wait to be rich like him one day. He brags about how rich he is in all of his songs. You know what? I want to brag about how rich I am, too. I mean, he has the right. He technically made it. That's cool. Is there a gusher? There's a gusher right here. I mean, he technically made it in life. Dude's got money. Dude's rich. He has bragging rights. Something I wish, hope to have in the future. But it's okay. Oh, why? Why? 
I am at half an hour. This is like, this is my longest Splatoon recording I've had so far. Half an hour. Wow. Alright, well, I'm actually gonna end the episode off after this. It should have been pretty obvious to you guys, but I tend to do three levels per video anyway. And I'm actually gonna save the final boss for its own little video. So we will not, so we will have three more episodes of Splatoon. Well, two more episodes after this. Hey, little guy! I saved you. Why are we here? For what purpose do we exist? We must not dwell on these questions. We can merely trust in the will of the universe and spend our days and nights in harmony with the world, celebrating the festival called life. Thank you everybody for joining me back on yet another episode of Splatoon. Next time on Splatoon, we finish up Area 5. We will not be taking on the final boss in the next episode, though. So, hope you get, hope to see you all back here in the next episode. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked this video, leave a dislike. Let me know what you didn't like about it, and let me know how to improve on it in the future. Have a great day, everybody. I'll catch y'all later, and stay fresh.